The Department of Justice has a duty to enforce our nation's laws, including our immigration laws. The Trump administration's effort to carry out its controversial federal immigration crackdown getting new pushback on Sunday, with the city of Chicago announcing that it will sue U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions over threats to withhold public safety grant money from so-called sanctuary cities. We are filing this lawsuit in response to the unlawful and unconstitutional conditions that the Department of Justice has recently announced under the fiscal year 2017 Burn Justice Assistant Grants. That program provides money to hundreds of cities, and Chicago expected to receive $3.2 million for purchasing equipment. But a new Justice Department policy requires any recipient to allow immigration authorities unlimited access to local jails, as well as 48 hours notice before releasing anyone wanted for immigration violations. A requirement Chicago Council Ed Siskel says violates the Constitution. Which in many cases would require detaining individual residents longer than necessary for the sole purpose of providing that 48 hours advance notice in violation of their Fourth Amendment constitutional rights. Sanctuary cities generally provide safe harbor to illegal immigrants by declining to use city resources to enforce federal immigration laws. Sessions and President Trump both have criticized those cities, saying they make the nation less safe. Police and officials in those cities have said enforcing federal immigration laws discourages immigrants from coming forward to report crimes. The suit to be filed on Monday is the latest in legal battles for the Trump administration over sanctuary cities. Last month, a U.S. judge refused to revisit a court order that blocked Trump's executive order, denying broader federal funds to such jurisdictions.